This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the laptop screen doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus A72J laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace it. Before we do anything with our laptop computer, before we repair it, we want to remove the battery. And the way you remove the battery is you flip the laptop over. You slide the two levers on the sides, one to the left and one to the right, and then you pull out the battery. Now that the battery is removed, we're gonna, it's safe to work up. There's a little fly buzzing around and I'm having trouble with it, so forgive me. Okay, before we flip the laptop over, I want to show you where to find the model number for this. It's a little bit hard for this one. So there's a sticker on the bottom, and let's get a zoom, close up, let's see if we can, there we go. Right up here it says model, and it will say A72J, so that's the model for the ASUS. Alright, let's flip the laptop over, and let's take a look. All right, before we go any further, I'm going to show you the tools we need. We have a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for the size. We'll probably use this one the most. Just in case, we also have a PH0 bit, a smaller Phillips screwdriver bit. We have a exacto knife with a pointed blade to remove the screw covers and we have a pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove screws that are stuck. So let's get started. In order to remove the screen we need to remove the bezel and the bezel is the plastic frame around the screen. It is secured by some screws to the screen assembly and these screws are hiding behind some screw covers. So there's four screws on top, and there's two screws on the bottom. So we use our X-Acto blade to remove the screw covers. And what I like to do is put them right next to the screw screws so that we don't lose them. We go one by one, like so. And same thing on the bottom. Okay, and then we remove the screws one by one. This one's a little bit more difficult, but we're going to get it. Okay, I'm switching to left hand, I'm learning to be left handed so I can make better videos. And uh, this is more a typical number of screws for the front bezel. Most have two. Dell has zero, but this Asus has Six. They really want the bezel to be secure. Okay, done. All right, what I like to do with each set of screws is keep them in a separate pile and start a new pile each time you have go to the next step. This way you can keep track of which screws go where when you're putting the laptop back together. Okay, next step is to snap off the screws the bezel. It's snapped on by some plastic holders, snapping things, and we want to snap it off. What I like to do is put my fingers on the screen side and gently start lifting it up. So sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. It just depends. Okay, so we keep moving around. Like so. If you get stuck on a place, go to a new place 
and then come back to the one you're stuck on. Okay, so we also, on this one, the hinge covers are part of this screen assembly. So what I have to do is, is put my, well actually no, it can snap off. We'll work it off. Let's see if there's anything we can do on the back. Okay, so we'll snap off the hinge covers here. Okay, so we worked it back. Let's flip it over. Almost there. This one's coming off. And this one's coming off. Okay. So, what you do is, the, is get stuck around the hinge cover. So you kind of pull it forward. You'll hear a snapping sound. And the bezel comes off. So, I was kind of a bit clumsy there. But you know from my experience, or lack thereof, what to do. Okay, now we have, you can see the screen. This type of screen, it's a 17.3 inch LED screen. It's held by screws on the side of the screen. And we want to be able to access the screws. And let's take a look. For the most part, we can access the screws, except the top one. It's hiding behind a piece of plastic. So in this case, what we need to do is remove the screws that are holding the hinge, uh, are holding the screen mounting bracket on the left, so we can loosen it and pull it forward. So there's three screws on each side. That's what we're going to start with. Asus really makes their screen mounting secure. So from a computer usage point of view, that's good. If you're trying to repair it, it takes a little bit more time to get the screws out. Okay, let's see if we can pull it. Yeah, we can pull the screen forward from the back lid, and now we have access to all the three mounting screws on the bottom. Let's take a look. Yep, that's the only ones. There's three screws here. One, two, and three. So let's do the same thing on the other side. We're going to remove the screw at the top. That's holding the mounting bracket. And two screws on the side that are holding the mounting brackets. Two. And three. Okay, so now we have enough so we can access these screws. There's three screws that are holding the screen together. What I see is a bit unusual about these screws is usually there's one screw towards the bottom that's holding the screen, but not in this case. So just something unique. I don't think it matters, but it's just unusual. So we remove the screen, the screws that are holding the screen in, and start a separate pile. Once again, two and three. Now for this step, make sure your screen is tilted back a little bit because once you remove the screws, you don't want the screen just to fall forward on you. So, and then we do the same thing here. We remove the three screws from the side. One. We still, we're using our pH one bit throughout the whole procedure. We're probably not going to need the pH zero bit. And three. Okay, now we can tilt the screen forward. We try to grab it. I can't quite grab it with my fingertips. So I use my tweezers and right away I see the their screen is stuck in it's the video cable it's the webcam cable it has an adhesive that is stuck to the back of the screen so what we're going to do in this case is use the tweezers like you see to lift up the webcam cable 
like so, and we slowly lower the screen. Let's see, make sure we're still in the field of view. Good, we slowly lift up the screen. And like so. And now we can put the screen down. Okay. And now we remove the cable. Okay. So next it's an LED screen with one connection. And next thing we want to do is remove this connection. There's some adhesive tape on top of the connector, which we lift up like so. And we lift up the cable. And we slide it out. So once you lift up the cable, you just slide the connector out. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect it. When you slide the connector in, you feel two clicks. That means the connector is in all the way. And the biggest source of trouble I see is that the connector is not in all the way when people at home try to do it. I have a close-up of the connector, which should look like when it's in all the way. There should, should not be a seam between the two sides of the connection. It should be flush with each other. So. Pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks like this. Okay, now let's take a look at this screen. I'm going to get some parts ready for us. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at the screen. This screen does have something unusual about it. Let's take the connector out again. Okay, it's a 17.3 inch LED screen. That part is pretty standard and fairly available. But the thing about this screen is the connectors on the bottom right. Except for maybe a few early HP LED laptops with a 17.3 inch screen, most of the screens on the market are going to have the connector in this place instead of the connector here. So the screens with the connector here are very hard to find right now. So the solution that people have come up with is this sort of adapter cable. And let me show you how to use this adapter cable. So the new screen, once you receive the new screen, the connector is going to be here. And you want the connection here so you can connect it to the screen connector. So what you do is you take this adapter cable. There's a tape side and a clear side. You want the tape side on the bottom. And you fold the left side of the cable like so. And with your connector on this side of the screen, you insert the connection in here. And then your two connectors are going to line up with the old and the new screen. So when you order the screen for this laptop, make sure you specify that the connection is on the bottom right. And that's the most important thing you will do. And most likely, whoever sells it to you will ship this cable. Okay, now let's take a look at the part number. The part number is LP173WD1. The interesting thing is you can order this exact same part number and unless you specify a bottom right connection, you will have a screen with a connector here. Okay, now we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen and we will supply the adapter cable for you. So what you do if you want to buy this screen from us is you go to ScreenSurgeons.com, click on Buy a Screen, and on that page there will be a short form for you to fill out and you just type in the laptop model and you specify the connector on the bottom right. And what you get with us is free email technical support. If you need to, we'll walk you through the installation process by email and also compatibility guarantee. So if it's on the right or on the left, wherever your connector is, we'll make sure you have the right screen. Okay, and that's it. So once you have your new screen, 
it's probably going to look like something like this with the adapter cable. Looks like this. You make the connection again, put the screen back in, making sure that this cable is flush with the back of the screen assembly. Put the screws in on the side, then put the screws in that hold the metal mounting brackets to the back of the screen. Snap the bezel back on, and then you put the screws in on the bezel, and you should be done. And that's it. Okay, uh, my, once again, my name is Eugene Pandrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you.